My name is uh, Devishree Saha. I'm an associate fellow at the Brookings Metropolitan Policy Program, and I lead our MPP research on clean energy policy. Hey, I'm, I'm Mark Muro, senior fellow at the Metropolitan Policy Program at Brookings. I lead uh, a lot of our economic development and regional economies work. We need energy innovation to respond effectively to the threats of uh, global climate change. If we are really serious about reducing our carbon emissions while providing affordable uh, energy services to all, then we really need to double down on energy innovation. Well, and another thing is that this is about the economy. Uh, this, we have to save the planet, but we have a tremendous responsibility to make the most of our economy. Uh, there are tremendous op economic opportunities here. Secretary Ro uh, Rex Tillerson and Secretary Perry have both said as much and said that, ec that uh, energy uh, innovation is crucial to turning the American economy around. So we agree with that. Uh, but then there's the huge opportunity that it is. This is a $1.4 trillion global economy. It would be a, a really unfortunate for the United States to remain sidelined during the growth of that in the next 20 years. So in our uh, research, we found that while patenting trend uh, across these clean tech ad, uh, categories, it grew significantly since 2001, but it has actually begun to slow down in the last couple of years. Compared to US companies, uh, foreign companies are patenting at a uh, you know, much higher level of patenting activity. So all this taken together raises serious concerns about the ability of the United States to effectively respond to the threat of climate change. And it also raises concerns about the competitiveness of the US clean tech innovation landscape. So the research also talks about the slowing pace of venture capital investment in the United States. Venture capital is critical for helping great ideas, great concepts, and, and initial entrepreneurial ideas begin to scale up and begin to grow without having strong VC or other early stage finance. A lot of these great ideas won't make it to the marketplace. So without innovation and major advances in clean energy technology, not only the United States, but the rest of the world will only be able to offer modest improvements in their future climate plans. And that is not just going to be enough. Uh, so in other words, energy innovation is going to be the ultimate solution to the challenge of uh, climate change. Well, turning to the economics uh, side of this, there's the very real possibility of simply missing out and slowing uh, uh, the pace of innovations. If we had stopped investing, we might not have had the Tesla car uh, beginning to roll out. Uh, if we uh, stopped investing, we might not have easy access to solar PV on your rooftop. So there are very real material uh, losses that the public and the market might uh, occur if we stop trying to roll these, these uh, technologies out fast. And then again, there is that $1.4 uh, trillion global uh, economy. Are we going to be participants or not? Other nations like China are moving to dominate this uh, economy. It would be a shame for the United States to take itself out of the game.